After installing the utility, you will have a shortcut on your desktop and an entry on your start menu. Double clicking on the shortcut brings up the utility. The utility has three main functions, formatting file names, sequential numbering of multiple files, and a file previewer for raster file images. There are three tabs across the window to gain access to each function. At the top of the form is a combination box that displays the current directory or folder the utility is displaying files for. The combination box can store multiple files or directory locations, and switching between one saved location to another is much quicker than browsing through the Windows Explorer or my computer to find the right folder. New locations can be added to the combination box by clicking on the Browse for Folder button. A folder browser dialog box will allow you to locate the folder to add to display. You will be given an option of adding that new location to the saved list of folders for future use. An alternate method of selecting a new folder is to select a folder in Explorer, My Computer or your desktop, and drag it to the combination box. The combination box will change to that folder location and display the contents of that folder in the file name list box. When the contents of a folder are displayed, the file types combination box updates with a list of the file types contained in that folder, and the file names list box updates with the contents of that folder. By default, it displays all files, but if you want to view only JPEG images or only Excel spreadsheet files, you have the ability to filter the display to one file type. The file name list box gives you good control over the files to be processed. If no files are selected, it will process all files shown on the list. If your file types filter is set to an individual file type rather than all, it will process only all files of that file type. Individual files can be selected for processing also. Clicking on a file name will highlight or select it. If you want to select multiple files, you have two options. Once one file is selected, holding down the shift key and selecting a second file will select all files between the first and the second one selected. If you hold down the control key, it will allow you to select individual files. You also have the ability to add files to the currently displayed folder by dragging them from Windows Explorer, My Computer, or your desktop into the file names list box. You can likewise remove files from the currently displayed folder by dragging the file names from the file names list box to a Windows Explorer, My Computer, or Desktop location. Double clicking on a file name in a list box will open the file with the default application for that known file type, just like Windows Explorer. There are some quick functions available to you once you have a file selected in the file name list box. Right clicking on a selected file name brings up a context menu where you can open the file with the default program for that file type. You can delete the file, rename the file, explore the file, copy or move the file. You also have options to clear all selected file types, select all files, and refresh the list display. Explore the file opens a Windows Explorer window with the folder specified by the Files to Process combo box at the top and highlights the file you selected. The left tab allows you to control the formatting of file names. You can optionally force the name to all lowercase, all uppercase, or title case. You can standardize delimiters in file names, changing spaces to underscores or dashes or vice versa if desired, or you can remove delimiters completely if desired. You also have the ability to change the capitalization of the file extension independently of the file name. With the options set as desired, clicking on the Example button will display a pop-up window showing you what the new file name format will look like for verification. Selecting the Rename Files button will process the files. If no files are selected in the list box, it will ask verifying that you want to process all files. If files are selected, it will verify that you want to process the selected files only.
The middle tab allows you to control sequential renaming of files. This is handy where you have files downloaded from a digital camera and they all come in with cryptic names that mean nothing to the user. This will allow you to change the name to something meaningful for the group or selected group of files. Add a sequence number to the file name. The sequence number allows for optional delimiter between the number and the base file name and allows for multiple digits padded with zeros so that the files sort correctly when viewing the file names with Explorer. With the options set as desired, clicking on the Example button will display a pop-up window showing you what the new file name format will look like for verification. Selecting the Rename Files button will process the files. If no files are selected in the list box, it will ask verifying that you want to process all files. If files are selected, it will verify that you want to process the selected files only. The right tab allows you to preview a small image of the picture files without double clicking on the file name and loading a separate image viewer. This viewer works only for raster images and works for most standard image formats. Files selected that are not of the right file type will display nothing. The options menu gives you the ability to configure and save the current configuration of certain functions within the program. Save settings as default saves the current path as the default path to display the next time you use the utility. Tooltips are little pop-up messages that display on top of the window when the cursor hovers over a control for a length of time. Display tooltips allows you to determine if you want the tooltips displayed on each portion of the form or not. Saved paths allows you to add or remove directory or folder paths from the defaults combination box. Show and Explorer context menu allows you to control whether you want an entry in the Explorer, My Computer, or Desktop context menu when right-clicking on the item to open the location with this utility. If enabled, selecting the option will open the File Renamer Formatter utility and set the Path to Process combination box to the location of the file or folder selected no matter if that location is in the combination save box list or not. This saves you from having to open the utility and then browse to the folder, or open the utility and drag and drop the folder into the combination box to set the utility to a new location. I hope this short video has helped give you an overview of the utility. If you have any questions on its use, or want to report a bug or request an enhancement, my contact information is available at the bottom of the download page and from the Contact Us page on the Help File.